aircraft is needed to patrol the Kasigao Corridor Nature Reserve in eastern Kenya. Poaching is a problem. Rangers on the ground have been directed to another dead elephant. 30 elephants have already been killed so far this year. Rob Dotson is the head of the Kasigao Corridor Wildlife Protection Project. Demand for ivory has increased significantly in the last year, mainly fueled by increase in ivory prices in China. Price of ivory per kilo has risen from $10 a kilo to $100 a kilo. One of the biggest challenges we have is to make sure that revenue from the carbon project goes into the communities to incentivize the communities to protect the wildlife for future generations. 20 years ago, this was farmland. Now the wildlife is back. Since the beginning of the year, Wildlife Works has been permitted to sell carbon offset certificates to raise money. Wildlife Works plants about 50,000 trees each year in places where the deforestation is most extreme. The protected area under the Kasagawa Corridor Red Project is about 200,000 hectares. There's about 100,000 people who live in and around that area. And at present market prices, which is about $6 per tonne, our 1.2 million tonnes brings in about $7.5 million to the project area per year. A third of the revenue goes to communities around the reserve. After two years of drought, the rains have finally returned. But the dry spell took its toll. Money is badly needed. The water holes are rarely this full. Charcoal is also scarce. Farmers try repeatedly to fell trees in the reserve in order to make it. When rangers discover charcoal pits, they destroy them immediately. But that's not enough, because the charcoal burners just go elsewhere. Money from the project is being used to set up sustainable charcoal manufacture. Only branches are burned, so the trees can keep growing. A small garment company has been established so people can earn more money. Soon the women here will be making clothing for a German sportswear label as well. We're using some of the carbon money to industrialize, to create jobs in light industry and in ecotourism to provide an alternative. Alternatives like this are important because the population continues to grow. The forest area at the foot of Mount Kasigao will only continue to thrive if the local people earn more by maintaining it than by destroying it.